I'm Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery and this is Stop Drinking Alcohol Week 51. Uh, just finished Christmas, had a great time. Uh, the first time in uh, a long, long time I can remember everything. Um, I still ate loads of stuff and I woke up with uh, a couple of food hangovers but you know, that's about it. Um, we went for a walk on Christmas Eve, just one of those spur of the moment things. Uh, my son was over and decided to go out for a walk. Uh, we landed up in one of our favorite restaurants and I basically ordered like a tostada, which is like Spanish bread with um, olive oil and a bit of tomato on it and uh, a Coke. And I don't generally drink Coke, so that's my new Christmas drink. And we had great fun. It was just uh, everyone else was getting into the Christmas spirit. There was, um, I mean, I was offered a couple of drinks. I was offered, uh, did I want a Catechio, which is uh, brandy and coffee. And no, uh, it was grand. You know, it was just some people around me were laughing and joking, and it, it was just as much fun as if I'd have been drinking. Um, you know, I would say more fun, but it's, you know, it wasn't. It was just, it was great. It was just nice. A uh, traditional Christmas thing to do around here, so that was lovely. Um, my son missed his flight when he came over, which was uh, a disaster. Uh, and I had to ring my sister to use her credit card, because my credit card wouldn't work, so I couldn't book him another flight. Um, and I rang my sister and said, oh, is there any chance you, you can book? Oh, no. She couldn't believe it, you know, that he'd actually missed his flight. and. Uh, yeah, but the first thing she says to me was, uh, don't be having a drink now, you know. And I must admit that for a split second, when he told me that he'd missed his flight, it did cross my mind, you know. Um, not to have a drink, but that habit memory, you know, of this is, would have been my fallback in, in the past. So that's basically all, all that happened. Uh, like I say, I had... Uh, uh, sort of a food hangover the day after Christmas Day. I, I went around to my, my sister's, one of my sisters, for Christmas Day, and there was just so much, uh, so much different types of food. But I've got a really sweet tooth, so I was digging into the boxes of sweets with abandon, and it was mince pies and trifle and oh, all sorts of stuff. And basically, I just had a, I had a very um, like a sugar hangover and it was terrible but I, I think it's my body trying to say to me you know um, crap in <laughs> crap out that's all you're gonna feel you know there's a, still a lot of room for improvement in my life um, and by no means where I would like to be um, once this outer level of drinking has gone you know this is the thing that's been stopping me from doing so much during my life um, and once that outer level has been, you know, it's just uncovering uh, other levels underneath that need to be dealt with. And that's a great thing, you know. It's a good thing that I can feel those different levels now that when I, when I do eat crappy food that my body is sort of punishing me, you know. It's going, well, you know, if you want to eat crap food, then you're going to feel crap. So, um, yeah, I'm willing to accept that. And... Uh, bring it on, you know, and bring on the different levels. If I can get rid of the next one, then maybe I can pile on down to the to the to the next one after that. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, this time last year, I was walking down the beach. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure whether it was this day or, but sometime before I gave up the the cigarettes, I came out for a morning walk. Uh, it's just before eight o'clock in the morning here. Um, and I remember my stomach just being in bits. Um, the indigestion was really bad. I had obviously had a bad hangover. Uh, and it's so different now this year. I just feel so, you know, no hangovers at all. Um, apart from that, <laughs> the dirty food hangover. But, you know, that's, that's another thing. Um, so, yeah, I feel, I feel great I'm facing into the, the new year. And... I think New Year's for me was always a chance to try and recuperate after after um, a huge binge over Christmas. You know, the binge would start well before 
uh, well before Christmas Eve and would basically be an all out drinking fest until until uh, until New Year's came and then you know I wouldn't be able to drink anymore that's basically it so I give up at least for uh, a week or two. In the past New Year's Eves for me were always about starting off maybe four o'clock in the afternoon heading down to the pub meeting up with a few buddies and ending at four o'clock five o'clock in the morning you know we do the the obviously ringing the bringing the new year in but if i was to be honest i i don't think i can remember hardly any of those you know that it's like my memory of 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 ringing the bells of ringing the new year in uh, it's just like one big um melded memory it's like all all the drunken New Year's Eve's mixed into one, so uh, yeah, <laughs> I think this year is just going to be really a quiet one. It's really nice and quiet. Uh, we're not planning anything, but we didn't do it last year either, so um, it's going to be a sober one. Uh, time for for reflection, I think. You know, uh, it sounds a bit corny, but yeah, I think it's been a really good year. It's uh, been one of my one of my favourite years so far. You know, uh, and I'm looking forward to to next year and what that's going to bring. Um, as far as resolutions are concerned, um, I'm just going to plough on with what I've got. I've got a plan for the year. Um, and I know this year that I've got the best likelihood of, of, um, of succeeding in any plans that I make uh, last year. I think every, every New Year's resolution that I've made has failed because of drinking. You know, it's, it's failed because I've been drinking. I think that's one of the reasons why people, uh, uh, a lot of resolutions fail is because they have a few drinks and either they, they, they uh, go back on the booze or um, they start smoking again, you know, so. So let's stop drinking alcohol week 51. Um, wish you all a happy new year. Uh, for those who are trying to give up, um, are going to give up in the new year, then I wish you all the best to look and remember onwards and upwards. It's all in your hands, so. Um, I wish you the best of luck and I'll see you next week uh, for the last stop drinking alcohol of my personal quitting alcohol year. So until then, my name is Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery. Uh, onwards and upwards.